done. Um, so first thing you need to do is get the white cross, which I will do really quickly. Uh, I am getting sick. Oh, that was a failure. Oh, you guys do not like that. I know you do not like that sound. That sound is just disgusting. I mean, who does like that sound? You're all like... Oh. It's like Justin Bieber all over again. Okay, now once you've got the white cross like I do, put that on the bottom, just like in the beginner's method. Sorry, that was way off to the side. Just like in the beginner's method, put it on the bottom. Now you find a corner. This happens to be the white, blue, and red corner. Uh, so you want to put it up in the top layer, which is by doing right, right up, right inverted. And that brings that up. And match it up, white, red, blue, white, white. Red, red, blue, and you want to find its edge piece. It happens to be right here, so you bring it up, and you don't want to mess up the cross because when you bring that up, it's gonna mess it up. So you, all you want to do is just move it um, away from that. So you don't want to put it back because that just did nothing. You don't want to move it this way because then that corner actually never mind. That was a complete and total failure of an explanation. This is the first case where you've got the red, blue, red, blue, white, it's all lined up and all you have to do is act like you're kicking one of these out. Since there's blue on the back and there's uh, blue on the top when you line it up and bring it over that'll line up the white the red and the blue so you will have solved like one-fourth of the thing so again just kick this out find the edge piece there you go and this is another case well, you know, they're all good. Crap. Bring it over. And then, instead of, like, say you wanted to move this, this, you don't need to move it. Say you wanted to, what you would do is you'd line, sorry, that is a weird thing. You'd hide this corner piece, bring this over, and bring it back up. But we don't need to do that. I just thought I'd show you that. So now, since, uh, if you were to turn this, that way red would be here and green would be right there when you'd line it up that would be green and that would be red and that you don't want that so what you want to do is you want to um, bring this over you don't want to bring it over here actually you could but if you were to you would not want to do move it uh, that way because if you were to bring that over you would have just messed up this. And my brother is playing Call of Duty in the background, if you can hear that. Um, so, instead of doing that, and when you're doing this case, you always want the white facing up, or else it won't work. You want to bring this over and down. So it's hidden down there, and you did mess up your cross. It's only right there, though. And you bring the top over and flip it back up so now these two are together. And now since there's red and green, since there's red facing towards you, I want to bring this over. So that way red and top green's on the top. So what you want to do is how I always remember it, red. So you bring red up towards the green. And you flip this up and back down. And you should have got those paired off. So 
Sorry, I did just a bit because my arm is starting to hurt and the camera is like right back way, kind of the face. And I'm using my iPod, of course, with no bipod for the iPod. Hear <laughs> that rhyme? There's no bipod for the iPod, so I had to make this giant thing out of books and a tie. Uh, like a, a tie that you wear. Uh, oops, I just nudged the camera. Um, so, this is facing up. You want to find that edge piece right there. Bring it over. Put this back down so you didn't mess anything up. And then, where's that edge at now? Uh, oh, I didn't move it anywhere. Um, so, here's a case where they're put together like this. You don't want that. So you just hide this corner piece, bring it up, up, bring this back up, and it's not hidden anymore. That was the not hidden. I meant they're not touching anymore. Now you've got the same case where it's got um, the thing where you can just do that. But I don't want to show you that quite yet. I also wanted to show you, say, if you had, like, so you put it right there. Or if it's like that and um, you have it facing towards you. All you have to do is hide this one right there, bring it over, bring it back up, and after you've done that, you bring this up, right, and then up three times. Bring this back down, and it moved it. Now you can just kind of, since this is faced up, you can do the lining up thingy again. So, orange, green, green's on top, orange would be facing you. So, you bring the orange up towards the green, bring this back down. Now, I should have aligned that. And you just want to do the same. They're touching, so you... Oh yeah, you want to make sure that you don't mess this up. So, instead of just having to do that, and bring this over and back up that would just mess that up so you have to be careful what you do so what I would do in this case since if you were to do that it wouldn't be hiding it would also hide this edge so what I'd do is bring it over here bring this over not this way because it wouldn't even hide it and it would mess that up bring it this way and then flip that bring it back down and then that would be good and then you want to hide this bring this right there put this back and now you can just do that there's your F2L tutorial uh, click the like button um, I will be buying a actually I have already bought an a 4x4x4 cube uh, Sheng Shao. I'm never, ever buying a three a Rubik's brand cube at all. Um, they just suck really bad. I mean, look at this thing's corner cutting. It can hardly corner cut that. And it all the reverse corner cutting. It can't even do that. There, there we go. I'll just go ahead and solve this for you real quick. Just because it's you guys. I do not know my OLL or PLL, so I have to do the beginner's method for the rest of this. Um, Um, there you go, solve, um, like, comment, rate, and subscribe, bye.